Today I'm going to show you how I use local histogram equalization to just make the nebula pop that little bit more. Today I'm going to take you through local histogram equalization and I use it to make my nebula pop just that little bit more. I like to be subtle with it, you can go way overboard with it. Uh, but it's a quick, easy tool to use, and I'll give you some tips and tricks. Let's dive in. So you can see the image I'm working on here. It's a starless image. I've used Starnet 2 to remove the stars. That way I can work on just the nebulosity, and I've created a range mask to isolate out the nebulosity from the background, again, without having to worry about all these stars. Uh, I've applied the mask, uh, but I've hidden it, so I can't see it. So Local histogram equalization is up here under process, all processes, and under L here, local histogram equalization. Uh, I've got it set to its default at the moment. And it's got a few options, kernel radius, contrast limit, amount, histogram resolution, and circular kernel. By default, circular kernel is left on. I've never played with it, never felt the need to, and I, I never really play around with the histogram resolution. I'm quite happy with 8-bit and it works quite fast. These three I do play around with. So the kernel radius is basically telling you what scale uh, his, this histogram equalization is going to work at. Uh, the contrast limit I tend to leave at somewhere between 1.5 and 2. I'm happy with there. And then the amount is basically uh, it's going to apply the histogram equalization and then blend it back in with the original image. Um, here it's going to do the full equalization with no blending. If I reduce this amount, then it's going to blend back some of the original image, uh, which uh, we'll work on as we're, as we're going through. You'll see uh, the effect that that can have. So the first thing I like to do is create a preview, or a couple of previews. So I'm going to preview around NGC 1761 itself here, and go to the preview window, and I'm just going to zoom out a little bit so I can see the whole thing. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to work with my kernel radius and try and find uh, what scale I want to work on. Uh, and often you'll find if you start, the, the smallest you can go is 16 on the kernel radius. And if I apply that, sometimes what you'll find is that uh, it just picks up all the noise in the background if you haven't mastered off carefully enough, or it, or it produces some crazy artifacts within your image here, because the scale is just too fine. Here, that actually looks quite reasonable. If I show and hide that, it's done quite a good job, but I, I do feel that maybe this, um, this contrast it's producing here isn't real contrast, if you know what I mean. I, I think it's gone a bit too extreme there. So, what I, what I start doing is I start moving my kernel radius to larger and larger amounts and just trying to find a scale where it's doing something but it doesn't look like it's it's artificial. So let's try maybe 25 and eventually I'm going to reach a point where I think the contrast, and I think I'm getting close there, where that, that contrast it's producing doesn't look like it's an artifact, it looks like it's just enhancing what's there. I think I think there about 28 is starting to look good. Now that's going to be different on different images and 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 uh, how fine the scales are that you're resolving at. Perhaps um, perhaps this is too fine for some images, as I said, and you'll need larger and larger scales. But 28 here looks like it's doing a pretty good job on this. Uh, and, and it's actually working quite nice at, at the amount of 1. Um, so I might keep that as is and apply that to my whole image. And you see, histogram equalization is quite quick. It, it really is quite quick. So I'll go back to my preview. Now let's start looking for some larger scales. Maybe we'll move up towards the 64 mark here. And you can see that's that's now working on larger scale structures. It's brightening up some of this banding in here now. Let's try maybe 80. That's looking quite nice, I think. But I think that's too strong. 
for me. So this is where the amount's going to come in. I'm going to start dropping this amount because I want it to be subtle. And what's happening is it's blending in the local histogram equalization with some of the original image. Still think for me that's too much. It's brightening things up too much. So that's nice, that's subtle now. It's maybe still a smidge too bright. Let's go down to 0 0.5. This is personal taste. I think that looks good. And there we go. Um, I think that's done a pretty good job as it is. So you basically, I, I leave things at default and I play with the kernel radius on a, on a preview or previews different areas um, and try and find a kernel radius that does what I want. It, it doesn't look like it's producing artifacts that shouldn't be there. Uh, and if it's too strong, if it's doing too much, then I can adjust the amount uh, and maybe the contrast limit to, to drop just how much contrast it's introducing um, to, to the image. All right, thanks for watching. And if you made it this far, don't forget to like and subscribe um, so that I can keep making more content like this. Thanks for watching.